The Cotton Lola shirt in Bone is one of the most beautiful shirts that I have ever seen and this and the Cotton Linen Highway shirt changed how I view summer clothing because I've never been good at dressing in the summer, we have proof of that, but I think I finally cracked the code. Both of these are from a brand called Knickerbocker, they are made in Portugal and they have amazing Mother of Pearl buttons, which fun fact, Mother of Pearl is exactly what it sounds like. That is inside of an oyster, an oyster wraps it around sand and makes a pearl. <laughs> The, I'm sorry, but the Summer Essentials video is canceled because there's bugs in my apartment again. Anyways, it should be a pretty good video because I feel like I cracked the code for how to dress in the summer. And it's not like this, although American Trench sent me a bunch of great socks that will be included in every outfit. So thanks American Trench for sending me free things. Let's go. Also, this video is more of a vlog style because we're celebrating the launch of my new YouTube channel, The Tale of the Iron Snail, where I won't be reviewing clothes, but I will be vlogging my entire life starting this clothing brand that is The Iron Snail because there are a lot of things happening behind the scenes at The Iron Snail that I think a lot of you would like to see. There's a lot of stuff on this list from Knickerbocker, not because they sent me anything for free, but because I just had a, I went on a little shopping spree because they sent me a 20% off coupon. First up is the shirt that I actually may have ruined. I don't think I ruined it, but this is the Cotton Lola shirt, again from Knickerbocker. 98% cotton, 2% elastiline. It's essentially like a toned down version of seersucker fabric, which has some waves to it, so it stays lifted off of your body and keeps you cooler and doesn't let sweat stick to it as much. But really, this is one of the two shirts, both of them being from Knickerbocker, that made me realize what I was missing in my summer outfits. We'll get into that later. The next shirt is also from Knickerbocker. This next shirt is the cotton and linen highway shirt again from Knickerbocker by far probably my favorite item on the list unbelievable the fabric is unbelievable it's a pleasure to iron which we'll get into in a second it feels beefy but airy everything I could possibly want in a summer shirt is here 80% cotton 20% linen I'm kind of glad for that because it wrinkles less easily but it still does wrinkle a lot good how are you Good to see you. This isn't really like a summer essential, it's actually quite hot, but at summer nights it's kind of important sometimes if you're going to a formal event like a wedding in Italy, which I did. This is the Beefy Cotton Oxford Button Down. It's called a button down, I've learned, because there are buttons where you can button the collar down. This and the two other shirts that I just showed you are camp collar shirts, which are splayed open. Which, fun fact, I didn't really realize this till like I was 26 or five years old, I'm 27 now. Button up shirts in general, short sleeve ones, are a lot cooler than t-shirts at least in my experience, because you can, one, get fabrics that lift off of your body and let things breathe better, but you can also open up the collar and let more air in if you need. Okay, I have to go to New Jersey, so I'll talk to you later. This video is sponsored by Drift. If you don't know Drift, Drift creates air care products for the home and car that look and smell amazing. Drift's Scent of the Month Club starts at $9.95 and you can use my code IRONSNAIL to get an extra 55% off of your first month. Isn't that crazy? Let's go check it out. Drift saw the contents of my YouTube channel and matched me up with the teak scent, which has hints of fresh tobacco leaves, teak wood, and musk. They told me they matched me with this scent because I make power moves, which I find fitting. And it reminds me of sitting in a log cabin on a leather chair, which goes with my aesthetic perfectly, and that is what I want to pretend I am doing whenever I am driving. Also, it actually just smells nice. It doesn't smell artificial or anything like that. And the best part is, with their scent of the month club, you can get the perfect scent for every season curated by expert noses in the field. And something that you'll probably really like is that all Drift scents are sustainable and Drift products are made in the USA, in Utah. So thank you Drift for partnering with me on this video and making my car smell very nice. I have a beautiful woman flying home from Denmark very soon and everything has to be perfect. So if you're interested in Drift, check out the link in my bio and use code IRONSNAIL to save 55% off of your first month at checkout. That means your entire order is going to be under $7. Thanks again Drift for making the Iron Snail possible. Goodbye! The only thing I don't know if I really like or if I really don't like is the monogrammed Knickerbocker initials on the bottom because that's you usually would do your own initials there so it's another brand but some people may think it's your name okay then things get a little interesting because I have two pairs of these linen basket pants in brown and black and I do really like them but the issue is they're 10 ounce fabric and it's 80% cotton 20% linen which I like because it makes the fabric feel a little bit more rigid unless you get to a really heavy linen but then you're left with this mix that you kind of have to decide 
how you wanna go about it. Linen wrinkles, cotton wrinkles, but usually the wrinkles can come out just by the weight of the cloth moving around, so it, the wrinkles come out after a little bit, for the most part, not 100%. So I ideally would wanna steam them, but I tried it with the steamer and it doesn't really work because the fabric is just too heavy. Nothing really relaxes, so I tried to iron, but it's still difficult to iron. You'll notice that these pants are still a little wrinkled, and I worked on ironing them for a long time, and granted, I'm not a good ironer yet, but the convenience does go down a lot when you mix these two heavier fabrics together for the summer. Hey, Tito. So then you could go the other way and get a much lighter shirt, like J. Cruz linen shirts, for example, which are nice shirts, but they are very, very, very thin, so they don't hold their structure really at all. And that is the definition of what you're probably thinking when people say linen is very wrinkly. It becomes a wrinkled mess. But personally, I would rather have a more structured shirt to give me a better, more crisp look for a longer amount of time than a very, very, very loose and flowy linen shirt. Don't worry, I'm very well aware that I'm wearing the wrong outfit for a big 95 degrees outside but we continue on we're gonna take a quick stop in the world of footwear going formal and then going less formal but there's this brand Valeska who I've seen ads on Instagram for for a long time I like their aesthetic because it reminds me of Cape Cod in the fall which is where I'm from even though these are completely handmade in Italy a long story short they reached out to me and said hey we're what's your address we're just gonna send you some things and I said okay and then I wore their derby shoes to a wedding I didn't actually wear them when I was officiating the wedding but I did wear them on the day before the wedding and they're fantastic. The day of the wedding, which I also recommend you get, I wore Alan Edmonds Leeds Plain Toe Bletcher. I wore those, which are slimmer and dressier, but the derbies from Valeska are very, very wide to the point where I would suggest you probably want to size down one at least. They gave me espadrilles, which are really cool, these cool winter boots, and then these derbies. Fantastic shoes, and they're a little formal, which is the whole thesis of this video. I wasn't even planning on going to the woods today, but I figured we're here, why not go for a quick stop? And I've never been in these woods before, so I'll just go up a little bit and talk to you about some summer essentials. Hello, Leaf, delighted to meet you. We haven't met, but I know your family. While on the subject of footwear, I am wearing right now my Adidas Gazelles. I bought these specifically for Italy, and the color of them that I'm wearing is called Pre-Loved Red. I got them for Italy because there is a brand, or there was a brand, called Roy Denim, and the founder was named Roy Slaper? But he has this Instagram picture where he's walking in an all-denim outfit in red shoes, and I think about that all the time. So that's why I got these shoes. And then we have the shirts, but really the entire brand kind of does this. So I should just say the brand. This brand makes shirts with crazy textiles, crazy textures. That is the shirt that I'm wearing right now. This is a Terry towel shirt. I have another one in a different color pattern. I have one more that's like this really fascinating, it's not a box weave. I don't even know what weave it is, but it feels like a robe at a hotel. It's amazing. And the brand is OAS. This is splitting decidedly between the more formal stuff from Knickerbocker that you could get away with kind of at like night if you're going out to more casual stuff that you can if you're like chilling by the pool or something like that you could wear a man just walked by as I was shaking hands with this plant I didn't explain why I was doing it but I don't think I needed to he said what are you filming I said it's myself but either way really enjoyed the stay okay next up shorts and socks these are always linked as old as time depending on what shorts you wear it dictates what socks you should wear. Either way, American Trench sent me a bunch of socks because they're great socks. The retro stripes are awesome. Their wool merino socks are awesome. Not because I got them for free. They are kind of iconic in the sock world. And then for shorts, I talked about cat and shorts before, which I think are fantastic, but also Wellen from Huckberry. It's a house brand. Fantastic shorts, great deal. Although if I could do it again, I would say my best advice with shorts is look at the length that you think you want and then go two inches higher on your inseam. That's my only mistake. I think these shorts are a little too long. And if I went just a tiny bit shorter, they'd be okay. And then we have t-shirts because I figured something out about t-shirts this year, but I'll get on that in a second. I got a bunch of shirts from Imogene and Willie, which I've reviewed before, and I changed my thoughts. I still do wish that the fabric of these shirts was a little different and I wish that the collar was a heavier rib and not really the same texture as the shirt. I think that would just be better built. But I really like quirky phrases on shirts. I think it's so funny, it's so fun, and it adds a little bit of edge to an outfit which I found that I really want all the time. Very rarely do I feel stylish or cool in the summer. I usually wear a t-shirt and shorts. A lot of times I just end up feeling like a dweeb and I'm like, I don't look cool, but so far this summer, what the big revelation was, was two things. Number one, 
formalize. In the fall or winter, you can get away with being less formal because you have a jacket where you can show your personality or you have a sweater or something like that that kind of inherently gets more formal and you're covering yourself up and oversized is okay. As it gets warmer, you lose a lot of things where you can show like, hey, I'm really into denim or I'm really into like this cool jacket. But stepping up that dress level, Boom! And on that note, if you decide to formalize in summer, the other thing you have to do is make sure your formalized clothes fit really, really well. For some reason, I never actually said this out loud, but what I was trying to get at is if you're going to formalize in summer a little bit, you should tailor your clothes. Bring them to the tailor so they fit you perfectly and show off that smoking hot summer bod. And Knickerbocker was the key to me figuring that out because the first two shirts that I talked about are cropped probably for most people, but for me, I'm not a very tall person and I have a small torso, so it doesn't look that cropped, but what it does look is really well fitted and when I put those two shirts on, I feel like a million bucks. And it's because the fit is immaculate and the formalization makes me feel cool anyways. So anyways, I hope this video helped you somewhat. Sorry for the very abrupt ending, I just stopped recording. But thanks so much for watching. Use code IRONSNAIL to save 55% off of your order at Drift.